Building news right now, security and safety. A local high school has been shut down for the past two days. Someone is sending bomb threats to Orange High School. The threats have been coming through email after numerous security sweeps. Police haven't found anything. News Channel 5's Dan Haggerty is live tonight at Orange High School. And Dan, now the FBI has been called in on this case. Yeah, that's right. Authorities obviously thought this was a credible enough threat to call in the feds, also to close the doors for a few days. They also feel that it's safe enough now to open the school back up tomorrow, and the FBI does agree with this. You mentioned it came the threats in multiple emails to school officials as well as the teachers. They had bomb-sniffing dogs in and around the school today. Now, typically a threat like this wouldn't cause them to close the school because typically it can be traced. Police will use the info from the email to track the IP address and then find the owner of the computer, but police in this case can't find the source of these emails because the sender is filtering them through several proxy servers. One of those servers was located in Sweden. Now, because no one knows if this is a prank or if it's something very real, it's obviously being taken very seriously by police, school officials, and parents. Preschool obviously is, is near the high school, um, and I think it's a, just a little unnerving that it happens in our community. We want to take this very, very seriously, and it could be a real threat, or it could be somebody just not understanding and, and a prank. Tomorrow, Wednesday, there will be some precautions taking place. Uh, in the letter, you will see that uh, we're not going to allow large bags, no backpacks tomorrow. Uh, everyone needs to enter through the front entrance of the building, so we will be uh, on a high alert tomorrow. Uh, the, you know, the building's clear, but we, want, we don't want anybody to bring anything in. So school will resume here tomorrow. You heard some of the precautions they're going to take. And keep in mind, this does not count uh, for the county's calamity days. So these days will have to be made up. Reporting live, I'm Dan Haggerty, News Channel 5. Dan, we've been hearing proxy server. You said it in your report just now. Exactly what is that? Well, think of proxy server kind of like a middleman. If you were sending a letter from point A to point B, uh, the proxy server would be in between. So instead of it going directly to the source, it would bounce to a couple different sources on its way there. It makes it a whole lot harder, but not impossible, to track. And it's not something that you need to be an experienced computer hacker to do. So some parents might want to do a little bit of investigating on their own tonight. Good information, Dan. Thank you very much.